Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 957. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, I'm going to give you a real estate update and talk about the two rooms that realtors recommend that you remodel to get top dollar when you sell your home. Now recently there was a survey done by prospective sellers and how they answered on this survey was very interesting. It was done by Realtor.com and about a quarter of the 1,300 respondents said they plan to sell their home in the next year, which is up from 10% last spring according to the survey. But that's not all. In addition to that, 65% who answered, said they aim to sell within the next six months, which is up slightly from 63% who said they would last spring. And we're also seeing about 19% of all respondents had already listed their homes compared to 9% earlier this year. So according to George Radiu, manager of economic research for Realtor.com, he said buyers should be ready for high asking prices and offer deadlines as seller expectations of the upcoming market are greater than in the spring, but an increase in new sellers could mean some relief from the inventory crunch. So that's good news. If we get a little bit more inventory, we've been talking about the possibility of that since forbearance was ending, a little bit more supply would come on the market, but nothing that we felt would crash the market like a lot of people have been predicting. We're just not seeing that. Not yet anyway. He goes on to say, seasonality will play a key role in seller activity levels as we approach the typically slower holiday period with new listings already slipping in recent weeks. As buyers race against the clock of rising mortgage rates, sellers who price their homes in line with today's market and stick to their plans will likely see their expectations met. They also said that prices remain well above pre-pandemic levels, but growth has started to slow. Mr. Radiu said, as more homes have entered the for sale market, price growth has moderated from the spring's double digit levels to a more approachable eight to 9% range. The median home price in the US was $380,000 in October, up 8.6% compared to last year, and up 21.8% compared to 2019. The report also showed that millennials were most likely preparing to sell their home, with 49% reporting it was in their plans. About 34% of Gen Z homeowners said they planned to list their property soon, followed by Gen X homeowners, about 26% of them, about 11% of baby boomers, and about 8% of the silent generation. Meanwhile, about 54% of millennials have already sold a home in the last six months, as well as 29% of Gen Z homeowners. And that information came to us from Mansion Global. Also, I wanted to report to you how to get top dollar when you're selling your home. And this is according to CNBC.com. It was written by Gabrielle Cortez. And he's saying overall home prices are up more than 22% since March of 2020, according to Zillow's most recent market report. And prices for new construction homes have increased more than 25% during the same period. He's pretty unequivocal about where the bulk of renovation budget should go. He says, you want to start generally in the kitchen or in the bathroom. Even when the market is so skewed in the seller's favor, investing money in refreshing those two spaces can net the homeowner serious returns when it comes time to list. Another reason that bathrooms and kitchens are the best places to spend your renovation dollars is that even modest renovation projects in areas that have high visual impact will make pictures pop online and make more would-be buyers attracted to want to see the home. He says buyers want home and garden TV homes, HGTV, like they've been watching on TV. But there's another more practical reason why your potential buyer might want to walk into an already done kitchen. 
and that is that buyers don't have a lot of money left over once they buy. It's easier to buy somebody else's redo and then finance a higher price than it is to purchase something and then start gutting it and moving walls and then put renovation expenses on your credit card, said Robert Erickson, a real estate agent in Los Angeles. If you decide to renovate your home before you put it on the market, your next decision will likely be how much you should spend. If you want a figure to start with, Erickson has a suggestion. I would say take $20,000, whether it's a $150,000 house or a $2.8 million house. That guesstimate should be enough at least to give your kitchen a refresh and maybe spruce up a bathroom too. Another real estate agent in Birmingham, Alabama, Marshall Malone, said there's no magic number or percentage that will work for every project. Instead, that amount you spend on renovations should be determined by three factors. The equity you've built, the price of your neighborhood, and the amount that you want to owe on your mortgage. He says, make sure you're aware of the top end selling price of your style of home. Run your comps. If the home's maxed out at $400,000 in your market, You don't want to have a spend of $420,000 because you're not going to recoup your money. If the budget for your project falls within those parameters, then go for it, he says. The right amount will be unique to every house, every neighborhood, and every seller. The key is staying within that budget, but be brutally honest with yourself during this process when you're calculating the potential value of the renovation. Then the idea there is just that you don't want to overspend and over invest money in it that you can't get back out of it when you sell it. They're also saying it's likely to be challenging to hire contractors to take on your project. The ongoing labor shortage across industries means that finding workers is tough. It's not even price, it's more. Can you get somebody out to do it, says Erickson. That's why buyers are willing to pay more for a house because they see the back end. And that back end usually includes building materials that are in scarce supply and thus more expensive and long wait times. Buyers are sick of waiting. I actually sold a house this year where they just bought everything in it, like the furniture, he said. They didn't want to wait six months for a couch. And sometimes you don't have to spend a lot to make your house look a lot better. A simple can of paint can go a long way, for example. Painting dark kitchen cabinets can make a big impact in photos. And those photos are incredibly important, he said. On a recent sale, he asked his client to paint the fireplace surround orange. He says, I literally just brought in orange pillows that I had in my trunk and put them in every photo and that popped the house. It sold in three days. End of article. Well, we don't know. It might have sold in three days without the orange pillows and the orange surround on the fireplace. Maybe, though, that got people's attention and brightened up the photos in a way that made people more interested to come look at the house. So being creative doesn't necessarily cost a lot. It can be as simple as a can of paint or some pillows, but definitely putting your money in bathrooms and kitchens is what's going to get you the maximum return on your investment dollars. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available so you never miss one of them. And don't forget, the whole Wealth Mentoring Library of Podcasts is on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts, where there's a search bar and you can put in any topic that you want to know more about. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.